A short time ago here in Prince George's County, District Court Judge Robert Heffern said the accusation that police officer Michael Owen fired into a handcuffed unarmed man seven times makes him a threat to public safety, especially since if Owen were released on bail, he might have access to guns in the home he shares with another active duty officer. Heffern denied bail to the accused police officer, who's currently in jail. The large family of shooting victim William Green gasped and let out a muted clap, one family member blurting out, thank God. The family did not speak with reporters as they left the courthouse. According to testimony in court, Green hit a number of cars while driving on St. Barnabas Road Monday evening. A bystander blocked Green's vehicle after he stopped. Owen and another officer found Green asleep and unresponsive behind the wheel, arrested him, handcuffed him, and put him in the front seat of Owen's police car. Five to ten minutes later, the other police officer reported hearing gunshots, ran to Owen's car, and found Green, quote, still seated and handcuffed behind his back in the passenger seat, suffering from multiple gunshot wounds, charging documents said. The victim was absolutely no threat to him, said prosecutor Renee Joy. When paramedics arrived, he was still handcuffed behind his back, the statement of charges said. Green had no weapons, according to the documents. So Officer Owen stays in jail for now, and meanwhile, scrutiny of his career accelerates. Prosecutors told me they will now review a 2011 shooting in Palmer Park, where Owen shot and killed Rodney D. Edwards, a man accused of pointing a loaded gun at Owen. A second look at the case has been launched at the request of Edwards' family. In Upper Marlboro, Scott Broom, WUSA 9.